Hey everyone, K0LWC here. I promised you I was gonna make this video, and here it is. I wanna show you what I've been working on in the shack since we bought our house here in Minnesota. What we're looking at here is a coax entry panel made by KF7P Metalworks out of Utah. It really is some quality craftsmanship, and if you're looking for a really nice, sleek entry panel, I highly recommend you check out KF7P. As you can see, I do have a ground wire uh, running out to a ground rod here right around the corner, and you do see I have one coax uh, sticking out of the box and that is LMR 600 for VHF and UHF. Uh, let's take a look inside the box and see what we have. Uh, here on the left you'll notice we have uh, an a lightning arrestor with nothing on the bottom and that is actually my LMR 400 Ultraflex that's going into the shack but I do not have my HF antenna set up so nothing there yet. On the right on the polyphaser here you have LMR 600 on both sides. Uh, this is regular LMR 600. This is LMR 600 Ultraflex both attached here to the copper ground plate and as you can see here is where actually my copper wire comes in and attaches to that panel panel. Uh, this that goes to the wall actually is just a PVC conduit uh, for electrical stuff. So the kit that KF7P will send you, you just have to basically drill right through your wall. Kind of scary, I know. Uh, and then this will run right to the shack. Uh, obviously this is the window to my shack here. Actually you can see my shack computers and my gear down there. Uh, and this comes right through the wall of my shack. Now Coming up here, a little bit tougher to see. If you look behind this panel right here, you'll see what looks like kind of some uh, gray putty. So how do I seal this from weather? Well, two ways. Behind the box, you do have the option to do some weather stripping. Uh, I did not opt to do that. The reason is uh, I decided to use what's called uh, duck seal. Duck seal is what you use like on HVAC ducts. Let's see if I can get a better shot here. There we go. So. The reason why I went with duck seal is it does seal out moisture. It'll take care of any elements, but at the same time, if I ever have to remove this, should I move, I can actually take that out and I don't have to worry about ripping out silicone or anything that's more permanent because it's almost like a putty. All they have to do is strip that off and I can take it out and it's no problem. So tracing the coax, you can see I actually have too much coax. Uh, here is a run probably of an extra 20 feet of LMR 600, and the coax runs the back side of my house. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna coil this up, uh, make kind of an air ballon out of it, if you will, and I'm also gonna hang it uh, from the bottom of my deck up here. I just have to get some kind of uh, little screws that I can put in with little uh, eyelets, and then I can string my coax up off the ground. That way it just stays out of the snow in the wintertime. Um, so that's a project that is yet to be done. Uh, so this is the coax entry panel. Highly recommend it. Awesome stuff. Now let's go take a look at that new VHF UHF antenna. All right coming around here to the backyard and go up the old stairs here. You'll notice here I have some of my Dacron rope. This is actually what I'm going to be using for my uh, wire antenna for HF here. I'm going to string it up with this Dacron that I got. That's why that's sitting out here. But now that we're up here, uh, here is my antenna mast. So this actually is RCA brand antenna mast. You can buy this at your local hardware store. It's really cheap, like seven bucks for a four and a half foot section. Uh, it goes up to the roof line here and up at the very tippy top, I have a Diamond X300 vertical. It is a high gain dual band VHF UHF vertical. I am having some SWR issues with it. I'm trying to work through those, you know, work through those right now, but I'm sure I'll get it figured out. So this mass is actually about 30 feet tall and the antenna itself is 10 feet. So tip of the antenna is 40 feet uh, here from the ground level. Now up here on the deck, how I've secured this is, this is a custom fabricated uh, base plate. So this is where the antenna actually slots into and you'll see that's actually screwed right through the deck and then secured on the other side with some washers. Um, this was a much better option for me than putting something against the vinyl of the house because if you have something against the vinyl of the house that's applying pressure and going back and forth whether it's the wind or temperature it's eventually going to crack and have problems so i didn't want to touch the vinyl if i could help it and that's where this custom fabbed uh, base plate comes in uh, actually on the lmr 600 you can see i just have some actual zip ties that is how it secures to the actual antenna mast uh, so again it's 40 feet up there uh, it does pretty well i've made some great contacts on simplex uh, and also has had some conditions that allow me to reach repeaters up to 120 miles away here just in the last couple of days so this is my vhf uhf and i do honestly think 
I'm going to raise it up another 5 feet at the top and put up a Diamond X510, which is another 7 feet in length on top of that. It's a 17 foot vertical. I think that is going to be my plan for next summer. Uh, and already get rid of the X300. It's, it's not high enough, right? But it's never high enough for ham radio operators. Alright, so let me just walk you down here and show you how I secured this uh, to the underside of the deck. Okay, so here is where my coax comes down. Uh, here is the antenna mask comes out. But underneath here, we can actually see how I secured it. So here is where the actual screws come through. I have some, uh, I said, some nuts here on the bottom, but also put in these big washers just to give it a better anchor point. Uh, this is actually, if you can tell, right up into the deck. Like it's actually into the boards themselves. So these are really good anchor points that for an antenna as light as the X300 is, should have no problem supporting this thing. I should also make note that up on the top on the roof line, there's also a four inch standoff. That is providing support and the most important support uh, right below the antenna itself. So there you have it. That is my VHF and UHF setup here uh, at the K0LWC QTH. I plan on doing a two element six meter antenna as well in addition to a four element vhf antenna for two meters now as you can see down here i do have some extra mass so you know there's going to be some more antennas put up right <laughs> there'll be some more videos for sure thanks so much for watching like this video if you haven't already subscribe i'll catch you again next time